bum, bum, bum. Low rider. Oh, you pulleys. Shush it up, Santiana. You've had plenty of, you started all this. You are the one who started all this years ago. Can't we, re should we remind you of Huey? Should we remind you of Huey, baby Huey? That's right. Pushing him out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Lester here. And um, I'm coming to you on Friday morning. I just dropped off Lex at school, and I'm driving back uh, from South Houston up to, well, to Longhorn Lester's. And I'm excited, I'm a bit jittery and jumpy, nervous, because as I drive, I know there's also a fella who is headed over to Longhorn Lester's, and guess what? He's pulling a trailer, and he has two two-year-old Longhorn heifers. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. Someone has finally swiped right on Texas profile, his dating profile, and there are some young ladies that want to get to know him. Let's just say there's a couple of young ladies that would like to get to know Tex a little bit better. Now, I don't know how Santana's going to take this, and that is going to be the biggest thing. No one really wants to watch this to watch Tex go to work on a couple of other ladies. Can I just do that? Is that is that is that Facebook appropriate? I don't know really what's appropriate for this kind of Thing, but we are a farm channel and Tex has been not single and ready to mingle but very happily married but kind of in an open relationship as far as he's concerned well friends when it rains it pours uh, Mr. Ricky calls He's about six minutes out and he has a flat on his trailer. So instead of him waiting alongside the road with these cows, I'm gonna take my trailer and back it up right to his trailer and we're gonna do a transfer. We're gonna do a cow transfer, a longhorn transfer. A longhorn transfer on the side of the road. This ought to be interesting, guys. This ought to be interesting. And so I'm trying to get my trailer now and get out of the yard without running over the dogs. They all want to be a part of, the dogs all want to help. How sweet, hold on. You love the fact they want to help y'all, but they also can be real, see? That's scary, Chrissy. Uh, everyone knows that I run over Fiona with my low boy trailer um, back when she was a young pup. There we go. They normally don't follow you down the driveway, but they are today. Christmas, she just wants to herd. She wants to be a, she wants to help y'all. She wants to help so darn bad. I don't think Tex knows. I don't think Tex or Santana know what this day is about to hold. I don't know that this is gonna be a Friday that's gonna change their lives. I hope for the better. Lord, I hope for the better. The horses are gonna enjoy sitting back and watching this fiasco. As will all of we, guys. Don't even say that you're not gonna be excited about watching this fiasco. Some of y'all are gonna love to watch the text part of the romance. Some are gonna love to watch the Santana drama. Isn't that crazy that we as people are like that? We love drama, even though we say that we don't. We all say we don't like drama, yet some of our favorite TV shows, soap operas, if you will, uh, daytime, nighttime news. It's all about drama. Everything's about drama. All right, so we're about to get on our way. I don't have my big truck. I'm in the 1500, and I think this will be fine for two younger heifers. They're not going to be as big as Santana. They're only two and a half years old. Uh, they've had a couple of breeding cycles. They've come and gone. And I will say a little bit more about him while I'm driving. Um, he said that 
they've gotten into the mini, mini, the M-I-N-I, -I, mini cows. And he said last time that his longhorns came into cycle, one of the little mini bulls <laughs> was trying to mess around with her. He said it was the funniest thing to watch. He goes, there was no way it was ever gonna line up. There was no way the stars were ever going to align to make that happen. But can you imagine? That's kind of like Billy Bob. Uh, yeah. Okay. So actually that went very smooth. That was a very smooth transfer from one shutter to the next. And you're gonna, when you, well, listen to me, Miss Laura, Mr. Ricky's wife, guys, I've never seen a woman work longhorns the way she works her longhorns. I am, I am much impressed, much impressed. And uh, I had taken all, all of my tools. I wore, I'm wearing my boots, I got my boots, and I'd taken all of the things I might would need to move some longhorns around. And I didn't need to do anything besides stand there and watch. And I did not feel like Longhorn Lester. There's no way to feel like Longhorn Lester. I was sitting there with my arms crossed like this while some sweet little lady is has gotten out and she's the one grabbing horns and shifting and listen to me. She's grabbing horns and moving these animals around and she swats them on the hiney and she moves them around. And I'm like, I'm supposed to be Longhorn Lester here. I got totally outdone today, y'all. That's Longhorn Laura. She's Longhorn Laura is what she is. Longhorn Laura. Listen, I learned a lot about her and her story. And I want to tell you guys about it. Not right now. I'm tired of the face-to-face. -face. But let me get onto the open road. Let me get home. Let me just get home. It's only six miles. Y'all bear with me. So here's a question for you. Trivia question. How long until he realizes, or how long until she realizes that in the back of my in the back of this trailer are two Texas Longhorns, both heifers, <laughs> who will be three years old in October. Uh-oh. I knew it. I knew it. She knows it before he does. She knows it before he does. And isn't that just typical of women? Isn't that just typical of women, y'all? Oh, my Lord. Isn't that just typical of women? She's going to have a bigger issue. Well, and rightfully so, and rightfully so. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. The drama, and the drama has begun. And the drama has begun. My friends, let the games begin. Let the games begin. Oh no. Uh-oh. We got problems. We got problems here. <laughs> problems here friends let's get up to the barn we got us some problems oh no oh lord have mercy oh lord have mercy goodness gracious baby settle down sweetie it's not like that he still loves you he still loves you baby he still loves you he does he will never replace you you're a one of a kind, baby. You're one in a million. I promise. Oh, even the horse. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Not the donkeys and horses, too. Everybody's involved in all this drama. Uh-oh. The horses are like, world star! World star! Oh, no. This is not going to be pretty. Sweetie, I'm sorry. You're not going anywhere. I'm not... No one's replacing you, love. No one's replacing you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, poor baby. I think every lady 
knows how this feels. I'm sorry to say that, ladies. Now, listen, guys, don't don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. There's a number of guys who know how it feels. I can raise my hand. I've been messed around with before. People have messed around behind my back before, guys. Come on. At my age. And don't forget, I was divorced for 10 years. I was divorced for 10 years. And so, trust me, I was knew a number of ladies that messed around. Because every lady out there has, oh, he's just my friend. He's just my friend. Oh, don't worry. Oh, no, him, he's just my friend. Yeah, I know what that means. I know what that means. Jamie and her mom are not going to help with this at all. They're not going to make this any easier on me. And there's no way I can scientifically explain this to where y'all are ever going to understand. You're never going to understand. I'm never going to get the support that I need here. Thank you. I will never get the support that I need here. I know that. But we're going to circle around and unload these heifers in our barn stalls. And we're going to allow them a little time to acclimate to the smells and the sounds of the farm, the place they're going to be staying for, I'd say at least next 10 to 20 days, depending on when they come into heat and how long all of that process takes. And so I'm pulling over now and we will back up to the barn and unload you guys bear with me. All right, what I'm gonna do is unload the cows into the middle section of the barn for now. And uh, that will still allow my cows to come up and come inside the barn. Oh boy. Oh Lord, I better hurry and get this done now. That will still allow my cows to come up into the barn, kinda, oh Lord. Ladies, I don't know what to tell you except for I'm sorry. I, I knew this was gonna be a little bit rough. I didn't know how rough. How did I know that Santana was gonna have a bigger issue with this? How did I know she was gonna have a bigger issue with this than what anyone else was? Charlene, you might wanna just get out of the way. Santana is not happy at all. Welcome to the no-tail motel, my friends. Come on out of there, ladies. Come on out of there. And welcome to the no-tail motel. The no-tail motel. Come on. Push through, come on. Come on, push through, love, come on. Uh-uh, uh-uh. There you go. Oh, my goodness gracious. So... All right, so everything's good here. They made quite the mess inside there. So this over here is going to be called the No-Tail Motel. And don't act like, guys, don't act so coy. Like you don't know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of things that's happening right now uh, with these ladies. A lot of things going on. Number one, they probably have never in their lives seen anything quite like this. <laughs> they have never seen anything quite like this. No, they haven't. And if this is not bad enough, all the birds creeping up to say hi, you have right outside over here, you got that big stud who's like saying, oh yeah, let me at him. Let me at him. And then you got that. There is so much drama happening here at the no-tail motel. That's what's happening over here. And I, and I love it. And I love it, guys. And don't say that you don't love it. Don't say you don't love some drama, because you do. All right, I'm gonna close this gate and pull on out of here. Santana, it's okay, love. So they're quite a bit smaller than she is. What's wrong with my daddy? Why is my mama so mad? Well, Charlie. Oh, baby. Santana, 
has to look on the bright side. She's got new babysitters. Uh oh, she's being mean to tech. She's pushing him out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Friends, there will be more to come. There will be more to come. We have to let this happen for a day or so. Uh, we'll bring out some water, some feed, some hay, and uh, let them sort of assimilate themselves to their environment, smells and sounds and all kinds of things. And then we shall open the gate tomorrow. Tomorrow, Jamie, the gates, almost the gates to hell. The gates will be open tomorrow and all hell may break loose. Seriously. All right, we're gonna take a little peek at what we got set up here. Uh, Tex is uh, staying close to the barn. He's not gonna leave these ladies alone for too long. Of course, Santana's still at the barn because she's not gonna leave Tex alone for too long. Nope. That ain't gonna happen, is it? So inside the barn, we got these two pretty ladies. I put down some feed, got down some green hay, and then I got three buckets of water. And we don't have running water out here, so I can't put a water trough, but I will keep bringing buckets of water over to fill those throughout the rest of the day, and I'll let them out tomorrow. They have been doused down with fly spray, so we don't have any flying pest issues whatsoever. As a matter of fact, none of our cows have any flying pests today. No tails of flapping. There's no tails of flapping, so we're okay. Look at that little munchkin. <sighs> Eating grains with her mama. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.